everybody. It is December the 31st. I have my camera up and running. We'll see if this works. I'm on my way to a, where am I going? I am going to a baby shower this morning for a coworker that I have arranged. I have a whole boatload, <laughs> car load of cupcakes and baby gifts. I'm praying that they behave themselves. phone just sent me a weird notice if you're wondering what that look was for. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go find a Starbucks and get some hot tea. I'm kind of in this mindset right now, you guys, of not eating unless I'm hungry. <clears throat> and I've noticed lately that when I wake up in the morning, I'm not hungry. And so I think I'm going to kind of follow that process and see where it leads me instead of I, I think I'm sort of like a trained pony <laughs> and I wake up and the, I'm like I need to eat something just because it's breakfast time and I'm actually not hungry and so um, I don't know I just thought I would try it today and see how it goes I haven't had anything yet and I, I'm going to go get some Hot tea, hot tea, hot tea sounds really good. Partly because it's overcast and it's cold and I want something different than coffee. So I did bring my sweet drops to put in my tea. I think I'm going to get just a hot chai and go from there. I don't know if I'm going to get any almond milk or not. And then we're going to La Madeline. They have a little, like a party room type of dealio that we can use for our little group to get together. And it's free. So if you ever, if you have a La Madeline, it's actually really cute. It's just a cute little room. I think it's perfect for like a little, like a small baby shower or a small bridal shower, you know, where you're not expecting 5 million people. Oh my gosh, but my favorite bridal shower theme that I ever saw, if you go over to Molly's YouTube page, she is classically Molly. She used to be WW Wifey. She, she got married a while ago, but her family threw her like a retro housewives theme for her um, bridal shower and it was freaking brilliant like it was the cutest thing I have ever seen and I was like oh my goodness I wonder if Dakota would go for that it was like vintage cookbooks and Dakota likes sort of vintage stuff so I don't know I thought that would be so cute I don't know if she would go for that or not but we shall see um, and I think probably, I don't think that I would be the one throwing it for her. I think that would be like her people, like her church people and stuff. So it was a cute idea. Um, what else is going on? Tonight is New Year's Eve. We are planning on watching that new Sandra Bullock. I kept calling her Jodie Foster to my husband. He's like, I, he's like, that is not who's in that movie. I'm like, yes, it's Jodie Foster. And he's like, from Contact, from Nell. And I'm like, yes, Jodie Foster. And he's like, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And he was right, as usual. It's Sandra Bullock. And like, she's blindfolded the whole movie or something. It looks horrifying and scary. And my husband, of course, wants to see it. So I think Judah is going to come over this evening. And we're going to watch a scary movie which means I'll probably be editing and posting this vlog and knitting I have a couple of crochet and knit projects that I'm working on the church I'm actually talking to a bunch of ladies at church so that I can do like a women's group coming up and teach some ladies how to knit or crochet there's several girls at the ladies of the church that knit and crochet and are kind of into that idea. So I think we're going to do something like that and be like little old ladies and 
I've been a little, I've been a little old lady for a long time. So my grandmother taught me to crochet when I was little. And I, am I going the right way? This seems really far. Well, I don't, GPS says yes. GPS says yes. <laughs> Should be like a catchphrase. So I have that coming up. Um, tomorrow I have the day off and we're going to go with some friends and see Aquaman. I guess it's all about movies. And then my husband and I were sitting there on the couch and we were looking at the Christmas tree last night and we were like, it's time for this baby to come down. Like we're over it. Um, which is funny how all of a sudden that just happens. Don't you feel like all of a sudden you're like, okay, and we're done. <laughs> Get the big fake tree out of the living room. Um, Wait, here it is. Oh yeah, it's right by, oh, it's right by Hobby Lobby. I'm not doing Hobby Lobby right now. I've got, I really want to go to Hobby Lobby. I have a picture to return there. So I need to do that here at some point. I don't know where the receipt is for it. So I don't know if he'll give me store credit or if he'll just look at me like I'm nuts. Uh, I don't really know. Ooh, and nobody, I don't think anybody's here. It's a, it's a Christmas miracle. So we celebrate 12 days of Christmas. I don't know if you know this, but the 12 days begin on Christmas Day and there are feast days. Um, that's the history of the 12 days of Christmas. So some people think they start before Christmas, but historically, no, they start on Christmas Day. And they go for 12 days until Theophany, which for us is the blessing of the water. I don't know if I told you this last night on my live, but we're doing the blessing. I think I showed you guys last year my husband throwing the cross out into the water so we're in a new town there's a big lake near us and we're gonna drive out next week after church well first of all my husband has seven baptisms on Saturday <laughs> one is a baby and so um, those are always exciting for him the babies are so cute so he has seven baptisms on Saturday. That sounds like a band or a movie or a book. Seven baptisms on Saturday. Oh, that would be kind of a cool book title. I don't know why. Um, and then Sunday we have church and we drive out to the lake and he blesses the waters at the lake and it's really cool. I love it. It's just beautiful. It's like one of my favorite Orthodox feasts that we do. And he throws the cross out and normally he has a string and he reels it back in. That's kind of what we've always done because it's freaking cold here. Um, but we have a bunch of guys. And if you look this up on YouTube, if you look up Greek Orthodox Theophany, T-H-E-O-P-H-A-N-Y, if you Google or look that up on YouTube, it will show like the Greeks and how they jump into the water to retrieve the cross that's thrown in. And it's this big crazy thing. They do it in Florida where it's warm. But anyway, apparently last year, a bunch of the young guys decided they were gonna jump in the cold lake here and get the cross. We're not cold like the North, we're in the South. So we're like kind of cold. It might be like 60 degrees the day they do it, like outside. So, and of course it has to be like the young big guys. Well, Asher told me last night that he was going to do it. <laughs> Can't wait to see this. So anyway, I need to make sure I have lots of like a change of clothes for him. <laughs> like he's a little kid or something and towels and stuff. So he doesn't get too cold, but we're doing that on this coming weekend. Um, golly and then we have two weeks after that till our cruise and I have been having so much fun planning our cruise we we've just sort of it's our 25th wedding anniversary so we're really we're going with our best friends and we've really kind of gone all out we are going to St. Martin the Bahama the Bahamas What's the one with the big hotel? We're going there. St. Martin and some other place. One other island. And then we, there's a couple days at sea. So I wanted to go do like St. Kitts, St. all the different saints. There was like four or five islands, but 
our friend really wanted to go on this particular boat because it's brand new. It's the Norwegian Bliss, I think is what it is. And he really wanted to take this boat. So we just said, okay, that's fine. It'll be just fun to be with them and all that. And um, my husband and I, we like to go on cruises to like actually go places and see things. We like the cruise boat as well, but we really enjoy actually going. We find that a fun way now to travel. Um, so we're going to start doing a little bit more of that, I think, in the future. God willing, you never know what happen what's going to happen, but we would like to do more cruises to different places because I feel like that's a cool way to see things. And hold on, I'm going to order my... Oh, I'm not quite there yet. Hold on. Hold on. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing amazing. What can I get started for you? Do you guys still have the Oprah hot teas, the Oprah brand? Sadly, no. We don't have the Oprah chai tea. It was the best tea ever. Oh, we you're killing me. Regular chai, though, is really good. Okay. Well, I, would, I just like a plain hot chai. You want to do a grande? Uh, let's do a venti. Ooh, Might yay. as well go go all out. Yeah. Did you want to add any milk or honey or sweetener to that? Um, I would like just a little bit of almond milk. Just a splash just of almond milk. Just a splash. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. What else can I get for you? That's it. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll see you at the window for 287. All right, thank you. So she's sad like I am. My thing is the Oprah, oh boy, I think I'm going to run out of film. If I do, I'll be back in a second. But the Oprah chai was the best chai. Oprah had um, teas that came out last year. Where's my debit card? And she had the best chai tea. And I don't know where, I wonder if she's still making it or maybe it just wasn't very popular. Oh my goodness, it was so good, you guys. It was like the best, the best. So... I'm glad she knew what I was talking about. I am getting like a red dot. I swear, this phone. <sighs> so, what else can I tell you is happening? I don't know. I think for lunch, if I'm not hungry still, I brought some of these. I believe they're seven points. They're the Atkins Chocolate Peanut Butter Pretzel Bars. I think they're seven points. Points. They're 200 calories and they have 18 carbs, one sugar, 16 grams of protein. These are so yummy. I had one last week when I was out on the road and honestly it was like cheaper and easier because I only had like 15 minutes to pop something in <laughs> into the mouth. So it was like an easy way to do that. Um, I might have one of those because I'm, I'm going out on three different visits after the baby shower. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I'll try to show you the shower stuff just for fun. And I'll come back and check in and tell you what I'm eating for lunch. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm gonna count. She put just a splash in, so she said maybe a tablespoon. I'm gonna just count um, one point for this because I think it's regular almond milk and I'm not exactly sure how much she put in. So I'm gonna count a point just to be on the safe side. It's 11.45. Um, I just now got hungry, so I am having one of these Atkins bars. These are the chocolate peanut butter pretzel. They are delicious. They are so yummy. Um, six smart points for that. And then I also got myself a large unsweetened tea at La Madeline earlier, so I'm drinking that. Um, yeah, so this will be seven points so far for the day. I think tonight I'm going to make turkey meatballs. I really want turkey meatballs for some reason. All right, I'm at home. I am eating. Okay, here's what happened. Number one, first of all, restart. I'm drinking Azevia. This is the strawberry. Oh my gosh, these are so good. These are zero smart points. You know I love Zevia. I am eating one serving of these. I know you guys are thinking I'm weird. I'm blah, blah, blah. Think I'm weird. I kind of am. Um, I had these at someone's house recently. They are the pineapple ancho chili pork rinds. And I don't normally like pork rinds, but one serving of these is one smart point. 
A serving is a half of an ounce. These are very light. There's eight servings in a bag, so you can have this whole bag for eight smart points. Of course, I'm not doing that, but I'm actually just having two servings for two smart points. And then I am having a hamburger, a lean hamburger patty. I know this is very strange. <laughs> I'm having it for five points and I have one piece of fat-free cheese on top for one point. So I'm having a six point hamburger patty. So high protein, low point, because we got invited to go to the monastery for New Year's tonight. We just got invited um, and I want to eat something before I get out there. They eat vegetarian. They usually eat vegan, but during uh, feast times, they eat vegetarian. And so they will have a lot of goodies there. So hopefully they'll have some veggies and things um, that I can fill up on. I am going to take a protein bar just in case I get stuck. And they know that I like to eat really healthy, so they usually have something there. But it's also one of the nuns' birthday birthdays. One of the nuns' birth, it's her birthday. <laughs> if I sound hyper, I just chugged the rest of that chai tea before I got here. Hey, Asher, come say hi. Let's see if we can get him in here. It's Asher. He's still alive. Hi. He is traveling down to our old town to meet up with his high school friends for New Year's, so be safe. I love him. you. He was headed love out the door. Too. I've already said goodbye to him. Um, so the plan on the fly, thankfully I had eaten really low point all day. Um, I believe I was at seven points and then I have six more points. So I'm at 13. I get 29 for the day. So I have plenty of points left over for whatever comes at me at the monastery. Thank God. Um, anyway, I'm going to go finish this. I will try to film or check in at the monastery. We will see. waiting for my husband to go. <laughs> He's on the phone. We have a church service tomorrow morning on New Year's Day. So I thought I would turn you around and show you just a couple of things I got for Christmas. Um, just because it's kind of fun to do that. Hold on one second. Yep, I'm watching YouTube videos again. I'm so excited about that. Anyway, um, my mother-in-law got us a set of these insulated mugs. Um, I'm having a coffee because we're going to be up late because it's New Year's Eve. I believe she got these on QVC, but they have the awesome pop lid. Well, I was going to pop it open for you, but I can't with one hand. Um, so yeah, they're a great size for coffee. And I think I'm going to take these with me on the cruise. We have one kind of purpley red and one purpley purple. My mother, however, got me Lennox silverware. So I have very mismatched mismatched silverware from Ikea and I don't know, best, not Best Buy. What am I thinking? You know, big box stores, um, just cheap silverware thrown in the drawer. So she ordered me a beautiful set of flatware from QVC. <laughs> so my mother and my mother-in-law are totally into QVC. We just got like the classic pattern. So I need to get these all out and wash them and get rid of my old, sort of bent crazy flatware. This is probably my number one or number two present. Um, my mom bought me, this is also from my mom and dad. So technically this is from my mom and dad, but you know how dads are. He wasn't really involved in picking this stuff out. But she knows that I love the Temptations and so I am so excited about this. She got me the black and white dishware set. Isn't that pretty? And you all can see that my kitchen is black and white and red. So she bought me, I have the red. She bought me the black and white. And what I love about these is they're a little different shape. These are the plates. Um, I probably should have unpacked this stuff for you prior to chit chatting. And look, I'm just gonna break everything. But, um, but look at the bowl. So I love the bowl size on this. The other bowls I have are, ah, not the way to do things everybody the other bowls I have are really big so these are more lightweight but I love that the dishes have a rim so if you're having something that you know tends to run off the plate with a sauce or something it has a rim to catch it so I now have I'll show you guys 
the other set that I have over here. I think you all have seen this in a previous vlog, but I had bought these, I don't know, maybe five months ago. This is the other set, so you can see how the bowl is really big on this set, which is wonderful for, you know, big soups and chilies and stews and salads. Um, and then the plates are different. They are square and they don't have that lip. So the red and white and the black and white. We are on our way to the monastery. We have an amazing sunset accompanying, accompanying us. Look how pretty, everybody. It's gorgeous out, and this actually doesn't even do it justice. So we are headed to the monastery. It's about an hour drive. Yum. <laughs> I'm doing your lights because they're so pretty. It's not what I like. I'm not the who's like What are you doing? Oh, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What are you doing to me? Those are awesome. Are I, think, I don't know. Want me to do? <laughs> Some of the Barbara's lighting one right now. You can't see her, but we'll see what she lights here. In just a second. Okay. Let's see. This is called the ladybug. vlogging in the dark. We had a wonderful time. Fireworks. I had a piece of cheesecake and it was great. So happy new year, everybody. I will see you in 2019 here on the vlog. Have a good night. Bye.